This is the Children and Youth Sunday School lesson for uh, April the 3rd in 2022, and it's Jesus is Betrayed. At the Last Supper, when Jesus was doing communion with his disciples, he said to John, um, the one that I give this bread to is the one that's going to betray me. And he dipped the bread in the sauce and he gave it to Judas. And then he told Judas, whatever you do, do quickly. And his disciples thought he was just going out to buy something or to do something that needed to be done. They didn't realize that he was going to betray Jesus. So when Jesus is done praying in the garden, we just talked about that on Wednesday. Jesus is done praying in the garden and he's ready to um, go and face whatever because he's going to do whatever God wants him to do. <coughs> He says to his disciples, wake up, come on, the betrayer's at hand. And they looked and coming up the hill was a whole group of soldiers led by the chief priests and um, <coughs> these people that have been fighting Jesus for three years. And they're coming with lanterns and swords and clubs and they're coming up with torches. They're coming up to where Jesus is in that garden. And Jesus calls down to them, hey, who are you looking for? And they said, Jesus of Nazareth. And he said, ego a me, which is, I am the I am. That's the name that God had told Moses that, G that God's name was in the Old Testament. And the demons that were living inside of these people knocked them down to the ground. They just were laying there on the ground. They couldn't get up the hill to come and get Jesus. They just got knocked down. And then they got back up on their feet again and they started coming up the hill towards Jesus. And Jesus said, who are you looking for? And they said, Jesus of Nazareth. And he said, ego a me. I am the I am. I am God. <coughs> They fell down again, and then they came up to the top of the hill. And it proves to us that Jesus had the power to keep them on the ground. He had the power to bring 144,000 angels and rescue him right at that point. But he didn't rescue himself because he was given over to what God wanted, which was our salvation. So they come to the top of the hill, and Judas comes into the garden, and he puts his hands on Jesus just like disciples do with their rabbi, with their teacher. He puts his hands on him and reaches up and gives him a kiss. And Jesus said to Judas, would you betray me with a kiss? And then all the other disciples started to run away. And Peter said, hey, let's fight. I got this sword. And he goes like this and he cuts off the right ear of a man named Malchus, who was the slave of the high priest. He cuts his ear right off and the ear is laying on the ground bleeding. And Jesus said, enough of this. And he picks up that ear from the ground and he puts it right back on that man's head and it grows right back on there again, stops bleeding. He fixed that ear right then. And Peter and everybody else decided there's not going to be a fight here. Let's get going. And they all took off. <coughs> Jesus says to the people that have come to arrest him, you come to me like I'm a thief or a robber. He says, every day I sat in the temple courts and taught. You didn't try to arrest me then. You didn't come with a club or a sword to get me then. But this is happening now so that all of the prophecies of the Old Testament can be fulfilled. And darkness has its hour. This is your time to reign, Satan. And he allows them to fasten his arms together and put a chain on him. He allows them to take him off as their prisoner. You see, Jesus was in control all the time. He says in John 10, 11, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. Say it with me. I am the good shepherd. The good shep shepherd. It's a sheep person. 
lays down his life for his sheep. Let's pray. Dear Father God, they arrested our Jesus. They're taking him off. He doesn't deserve it. He never did anything wrong. They come and arrest him in the middle of the night when the people aren't listening to him. All of his disciples run away. He is all alone. Thank you, Lord, that you sent Jesus to do that for us and that he chose to lay down his life to give us life eternal. In Jesus' name, amen.